All right, guys, rocking the uh, Crocs for the moment. Um, <clears throat> here's how to bleed your brake lines using the what's called gravity bleed method. So we're using gravity to bleed the air out of the brake lines. Um, to do that, you'll start at the furthest wheel from the uh, master cylinder reservoir, um, the rear right generally. All you have to do um, for most cars, that is, is get a 10 millimeter and open up the bleed valve using that 10 millimeter. It's right there where that clear hose is coming off of. And once that's, that screw has been loosened, then um, uh, you can do what I'm doing and just stick like a little plastic um, adapter for bleeding the brakes. And if you don't have that, you can just use a plastic rubber hose or plastic hose, rubber hose, whatever you have. Stick it over the bleeder valve right there with the valve open and then lead that into some sort of bottle or a little bleed omatic thing is what this is called or any sort of jug or bottle. And then just let that rest in there and the air will slowly get suctioned and pulled out by gravity. Um, all you have to do during this method is make sure that your master cylinder does not um, run dry because then you have to redo the whole thing. With this uh, master cylinder and all others, um, you should keep the cap loosened and or um, resting on the top. But all you gotta do is just top it off and make sure it does not run dry. So since this is a Honda, I'm using the OEM Honda Genuine uh, Brake Fluid Stot 3. Most cars nowadays also use dot three brake fluid. Three or four that is. We're just gonna rest the cap back on the top and not tighten it, just have it resting. Just so no debris, or dust debris or any dirt or anything, bugs get in there during that time while it's resting. And that is it. Um, you'll do that for each corner, um, starting with this one, then you'll go to the driver's side. Um, which is the rear left, then you'll do the front right, and then the front left. Um, and you'll just continue to do that until you feel like that you've gotten as much air as you can out of the system or once the pedal's feeling good again. So you want, the reason you want to replace your brake fluid is to either get the old fluid out, to flush it out, um, so that your car brakes better and it doesn't have as much corrosion or anything going on on the lines on the inside in my instance i'm getting like i said getting the air out using the gravity bleed method the reason we're bleeding the air out is because i replaced the uh some of the brake lines with uh stainless steel lines in the car so that would be an example as to why there's air in the system another reason would be um is if the reservoir ran too low and it sucked in some air um, or in more severe cases your system might have like an, an air leak if it's uh, ruptured anywhere on the system so you do want to try to make sure that that's definitely not an issue um, but yep that's all that is to it um, for gravity bleeding um, just open the uh, bleeder valve attach some sort of hose to it if you want if not you can even um, just open the bleeder valve and let it drip but uh, brake fluid is uh, corrosive and it will remove uh, paint so you might want to put a dish under it. If you have a painted caliper, it will run down the side of the caliper. So that's also probably not a good idea. So uh, yeah, you just don't want it to uh, get on any paint. So that's why I used a hose and that's why I recommend a hose. But yep, thanks for watching. Um, and that is how you uh, bleed your brakes using gravity and by yourself without having anyone to help out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.